And so what we're talking about is do you want to use your life and your relationship with food as a doorway to that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Hi. My question is um, how to let go of the expectation to be perfect and how to love my body the way it is because the eating guidelines have been a revelation for me. I, that's how I want to live and, and thank you for them. And still I know that I'm not going to look like the supermodels on the covers of the magazines, even if I follow my own natural um, you know, desire to eat when I'm hungry. How do we let go of that? that still feeling like I still should be eating less, I still should be doing something different so I can look like that image of perfection that society shows me. So there, you know, what I talk about in the book is the voice, the voice that is always telling you that there's a right way to do it and you're not doing it right. Try harder, push more, and that voice is not your friend. That voice that's telling you you need to reach for perfection, that's not your friend. And so what I talk about is how to disengage from that voice, the necessity of disengaging from the voice. You, you basically need to know when you hear that voice that that voice is not telling you the truth. It's not your friend. And do you know, even for these supermodels, I mean, Naomi Campbell, who's a gorgeous woman, was here not too long ago, but you know how many people it takes to make Naomi Campbell look like Naomi Campbell right. on a cover? I mean, if, you know how many people it took me just to get dressed today to sit down here? It's a village. It's a village. So this ideal that we have sold ourselves of what is perfection is a complete illusion. I mean, it is a complete illusion. And I have a magazine. It's a wonderful magazine. But it's an illusion. It takes 27 people to look like that on a, on a cover. And when you, as you flip through the advertisements or anything you watch on television, everybody is lit to the high heavens. So if you, if you are followed around with a light and a fan, you will too look like perfection. <laughs> and you're right. That's not real. It literally is about us figuring out how to be in the world but be not of the world and be sold this bill of goods by the world to believe anything other than what is coming from the core of you. That's what Women, Food, and God is about. It's about getting back to the core of you so you understand your own truth and that you offer your truth to the world, your gifts to the world in a way it can be received and not having the world telling you who, who you're supposed to be. Yes. That, 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 that is true. We'll be right back. Up next, 